All right, coaches, let's talk about Tuesday the 7th workout, okay? Um, we are going to be using our shoulders so much today, okay? So in the warm-up, you guys will see a lot of things um, for shoulders, um, pressing, um, getting length in our shoulders, okay? Um, if you don't like the warm-up, please use whatever you like to do to really warm up those shoulders. Today would be a really good idea if you did maybe some bus drivers, so grabbing a plate out in front of you, moving up and down, also coming into a plank position and having them come down and then stand back up is a good way for us to warm up those shoulders for those wall walks and for those bench presses, okay? So just a couple ideas if you don't like the warm up that's in there, do your own thing, but please make sure that we're doing warm ups that are warming up our shoulders, retracting our shoulders, pressing away from the floor, or reaching with the bar, okay? Um, uh, strength for today is going to be bench press. Um, just making sure that we're hitting those points of contact on the bench, okay? Um, shoulders rolled back on the bench, butt on the bench, heels pressed into the floor, pressing away. Um, that way we can get that leverage and then press uh, the barbell, okay? Um, the bench press. Um, have them start at a weight, but we're also going to increase weight as the reps go down, okay? So make sure that everybody is starting at a weight that they can increase their weight. Don't have them start at a weight that they're then going to be stuck at that weight for the entirety of the strength portion, okay? Um, after that, we're gonna then move to shoulder to overhead, okay? So making sure that we're in that front rack position. Again, if the barbell is not moving, we should be having our athletes have it on our shoulders. Try to get them to stay out of rolling this barbell into the front of their wrists. Want to make sure their elbows are up and that it's resting right there on that shoulder shelf. Okay? Then we can either strip press, push press, push jerk, or split jerk. Okay? Whatever um, is going to work best for them, working on that shoulder to overhead movement. Okay? On the shoulder to overhead, what is important though for those reps is that their hips come all the way open again. So dip, press, I stand all the way up before I go into my next rep, okay? We don't want those, okay? So making sure that we're getting those points of performance, lock out, hips lock out, then bring the barbell into the next one. Excuse me. Then we're gonna go into hang power cleans. We spent a lot of time this week, last week, sorry. We spent a lot of time last week working on our hang position. So hang power, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on that, but they can go into the hang position or the high hang, okay? Make sure those elbows get in front of the bar. We don't want these, okay? They need to get through the bar or through the bar, okay? All right, then we're gonna be doing wall walks, okay? Um, I'll demo the wall walk in just a second, go back to the wall, but let's go over front um, rack lunges. So, into that front rack position, forward lunge. So stepping forward, pressing down, okay? One thing we wanna make sure that we're letting our members know is we want to press through this heel and come straight up out of it instead of leaning forward into those toes to press out. Don't let them do that. Keep chest up, elbows up, press straight out of that heel up, and then come together, okay? Um, because of room, we're gonna want this to be in place. So it should look like this. And then alternating. Okay, so that will probably be the movement besides wall walks that takes quite a bit of time just because of the how fast that movement can be if we're driving out of those hills, okay? Um, then we're gonna to come to our wall walk, okay? We talked about this a little bit before, but the less time I'm in a plank, the easier my wall walk will be. So I'm gonna shoot my hips up, reach with my foot, reach with my foot, and then just take a couple of steps in. Then I'm going to walk away from the wall, okay? Showing control all the way down, chest, chest touches the floor, and then I go back up the wall, okay? Um, we are going to be doing 
Um, it's a chipper, so it's gonna be one time through. Um, there'll be different rests. Reps range change for each movement. Um, so this should be great. Have them pace as much as they can on those shoulder to overheads and front rack lunges because that will affect the wall walks. The wall walks will affect those shoulder to overheads and front rack lunges. So just make sure that they're pacing well and they're saving their shoulders. Do not go to failure until you get to that last round of the 10, 4, 10, 12. Okay guys, I'm really excited to see everybody um, do this one and I will see you tomorrow.